Hi, welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, bringing you another Madden 18 preview. If you guys watched my channel last year, it was basically exclusive mutt gameplay, mutt tips, coin making methods, stuff like that. But in a previous life, Madden 17 rather, I never played mutt. I really just played CFM and regular rank games. I'm really glad I got into mutt because it's, it's an amazing gameplay uh, mode. Uh, every year when I was doing CFM by myself, I would always really research hard and find out where the best teams were that fit my needs and the fit the way I like to play and had the most, you know, the best assets. So I thought it'd be fun to share that with you guys. Uh, I'm basically doing, uh, all, I'm ranking every team from 32nd to 1st, who are the most desirable teams to use, as well as, you know, basically which team has the most assets, which team has the most talent on it. I'm going to start off from the bottom, though. I'm going to start off from 32. This video right here is probably going to be from number 32 to number 21. If you guys want to see part 2 and part 3, which is going to be numbers 20 to 10 and then 10 to 1, uh, hit the like button. If this video hits 50 likes, I'll put out, um, you know, the part 2 tomorrow. Number 32 for me is the Jets. This is a team that basically cut all of its older talent. Uh, this team screams number one pick. If you get stuck with this team, I'm sorry to <laughs> sorry to hear that. They really don't have a quarterback worth anything. Running backs, though, are kind of old and slow. Uh, below Powell might be the best one you have. I mean, the Matt Forte's speed's got to really hit the dumpster pretty quick. Uh, the receiving core is okay. They got a couple of tall guys, some you haven't heard of, like Bobby, Robbie Anderson, a rookie. Uh, Quincy came to say the last name. At least they got height. Can't say I'm a huge fan of their of their tight ends. Their offensive line is really lacking now. The defensive line is still pretty good though. They still got a couple of uh, a good defensive linemen. Darren Lee though is a monster. Um, he's definitely a good player. I don't know why Sheldon Richardson is at a right outside linebacker. They really don't have much secondary either. Well, they did pick up uh, Jamal Adams. Overall, they just have way too many holes. Number 31 is the Colts. And I don't think it's really a huge surprise that they're lacking talent because that's a real problem in the NFL too. They got a great young quarterback and they really struggle to get talent around them, especially a defense. Uh, Andrew Luck's a monster, obviously. The running backs are really kind of iffy. Marlon Max, you know, a guy that might be worth growing. We'll see what he looks like, uh, a late round pick. Um, T.Y. Hilton, Dante Moncrief, they picked up Kamar Aiken and they still got Philip Dorsett. That is really the strength of this team right here is their passing game. Uh, so a lot of people might overlook a lot of their other faults because of that, but they really don't have a lot else. I mean, the tight end position isn't that great. The offensive line's pretty solid. They put a couple of high draft picks in that recently. Um, you know, half of their offensive line might be full, but their defense is really lacking too. I mean, this is the problem uh, is they just don't really have any defensive players. They pick up Jonathan Hankins. Who knows? He might be really good in real life, but Madden is kind of average. Barcavis Mingo might be a worthwhile guy to play. Um, you know, but just other than that, there's just really not a lot here. Jabal Sheard's pretty good. Uh, the secondary, I can't even say if their secondary is that great because they're all slow. Vontae Davis is pretty good. Um, they might, they have a couple of guys on the back end here that might have some speed, but you need speed at corner. Uh, and then their uh, their secondary, their safeties are really nice though. TJ Green, uh, I don't know why his rating is down so low. I still think he's a really good player. Um, you know, they have some really good talent in the safety position, especially now they picked up Malik Hooker. But other than that, this team's really hurting. I'm at number 30. I got the Ravens. Uh, Flacco, pretty decent. Getting up there in age. They really don't have a good running back. Don't give me Danny Woodhead. He's a decent pickup in real life, but not in this game. Uh, Receivers-wise, they're okay. Uh, Mike Wallace, Brashard Perriman, Dennis Pitta, decent tight end. A couple decent tight ends. Their offensive line's okay. The defense, um, you know, defensive line's a little bit hurting. And then their linebacking core has a couple of decent players in uh, Mosley and uh, Suggs, who's really getting up there in age. Uh, the secondary's got a couple of good young-looking players. Um, and Jimmy Smith, uh, Tyvon Young is just really, really short though. Uh, Carr and Humphrey. That's probably the strength of this defense is definitely their corners and a couple of decent safeties too in Ladarius Webb and Eric Weddle. But otherwise, they just don't really have a lot of talent. A lot of age too, which is not what you want starting the CFM. Now, I think this next team is really going to surprise people. Coming at number 29, I got the Bucks. A lot of people are going to be blinded by the free agent additions they made, like Deshaun Jackson. But if you really look at this team, it's really kind of hollow. Uh, Jameis Winston is a really good quarterback. They got some good running backs in Doug Martin and Chris Sims. Um, you go to the wide receiving core, and like I said, that's where they're really going to pop with Mike Evans and Deshaun Jackson. Uh, they also got Chris Godwin, I think it was in the second round or third round, a decent prospect, that receiver. Their tight end, O.J. Howard, that they picked up is going to make this offense look really good. Like I said, you got like at least three or four really stud star offensive players, but then you look at the rest of the team, it's really kind of average. Their offensive line really doesn't have much. Their defensive line is suspect. I mean, they have some good defensive tackles, but nothing really popping on Madden. Uh, Quan Alexander is really nice, and Levante David's really nice. Uh, you get to the corners, though. Now you got a couple of decent prospects, but they're all 5'10". Um, that's not really getting it done. You need somebody faster and taller, in my opinion, at corner. Uh, they picked up Justin Evans, a big hit in safety. We'll see what, they, what Madden makes him uh, in the second round. 
And then, uh, you know, J.J. Wilcox. And aside from their passing game, just like the Colts, they really don't have a lot going on in other places. Coming in number 28, I got the Lions. Matthew Stafford, really good quarterback. I'm actually a fan of his now. Going to the running backs, Theo Riddick is, an, is a hell of a receiver, but why is his speed so bad? 86 is not what you want out of a receiving back. Uh, but I do give them credit for Amir Abdul. I think he's a decent prospect to work on. Uh, Receivers-wise, a couple of decent guys, Marvin Jones, uh, Golden Tate. Uh, they did get a, a receiver, I think, in the third round, and Kenny Galladay, who's six foot four, so he might be worth working on. Uh, Eric Ebron, this guy here is a really good receiving tight end, and their offensive line is pretty solid too. With um, you know, so they have a couple over eighty offensive linemen. Four out of the five actually are over eighty, so their offensive line is going to be really solid. Ezekiel Ansa, really, really good defensive end, and then you got nothing but age and uh, nothing really a defensive tackle. Going to the linebackers, good first round pick out of Jared Davis. Um, and to hear, to hear Whitehead, a couple of, you know, pretty marginally talented uh, middle linebackers, decent. Uh, going to the secondary, I love Darius Slay, one of the best cornerbacks in the game, in my opinion. Um, that's about it, though. Then you got a couple of a real question marks. Tease Tabor might be a wasted pick as far as Madden's concerned with that horrible 40 time. You can see here they got him listed like an 84. I don't think it'll be that bad, but he ain't going to be that good either. Uh, but they've got Matt Prater, though, really, really nasty leg kicker. Uh, but overall, I think they've just got a lot of, um, you know, a lot, a lot of holes. All right, coming up next at 27, we got the Bengals. This is another team I think is going to surprise people because of the additions of John Ross and Joe Mixon are going to make people think that the team is more talented than it is. It will be uh, pretty stacked on offense, but it has a lot of holes as far as Madden's concerned. Andy Dalton's okay. He's startable. The running back position is pretty loaded with Bernard and Hill and, like I said, Joe Mixon. Uh, going to the receiving core, they really got two monstrous receivers in A.J. Green and now John Ross. I can't say Brand LaFell or you know Boyd does much for me. Uh, Tyler Efforts a really good tight end, so their offense has a lot of skill position players, but they lost most of their offensive line. That's important. You're going to have to replace all these guys. Uh, nobody really good there. Defensive end, Carl Dunlap's really nice. Uh, Michael Johnson's you know a pretty decent player. Geno Atkins. You know what I'm saying? Their defensive line's pretty stout. And then you get to the linebackers and you start losing a little bit. I mean, Vontaze Burflick's pretty good. They finally fixed his speed. For a long time, he had a really horrible speed. Um, their cornerback position is a little bit uh, on the slight side. I mean, I can't say that, you know, the speed's not there for Pac-Man. Drake or Patrick's tall but slow. Uh, I think William Jackson and probably Dark Creed Denar would probably be the guys that I start because their speed's a little bit better and they got some height. Uh, George Aloka, probably better when he was a strong safety. He's not really a great free safety, in my opinion. And but um, I can't say that none of these, I'm not trying to say these teams are bad. I'm just saying that they, some teams have more holes than others. Next up, I got the Cardinals at 26. Uh, Carson Palmer, I don't really think he's a franchise quarterback anymore in Madden. They didn't, they failed to pick up a new quarterback. And I think it's going to hurt him, especially if you own that team in a franchise mode. David Johnson's a monster. Who wouldn't want him? Uh, one of the best backs in the game. Uh, receiving core is a little bit on the downside. Larry Fitzgerald, always old and slow. He's getting one year older and one year slower, but at least he's tall. Uh, I actually like John Brown, J.J. Nelson, and Jerron Brown. They're all pretty decent receivers, but overall, they're losing. Uh, their receiving core is getting shorter and just getting worse. Uh, Jermaine Gresham is not much of a Titan to talk about. Their offensive line is pretty good. Uh, defensive line, you know, you got MDJ from last year. He's all, he's all right. Somebody worth building, but other than that, they don't have much. Marcus Golden had a really good year. I don't know how good he is in Madden, though. Hassan Reddick's really solid. Deion Buchanan's really solid. Darryl Washington they actually released already. Uh, but Xavier good. There's Xavier Gooden. I didn't know he was on the team. He's a he's a monster to use. Or, um, so you got really good linebackers. Chandler Jones, you could probably put him in as a defensive end. I probably would. Uh, and then you get to the secondary, and the secondary is really nice with Patrick Peterson. Uh, Brandon Williams is a really good-looking rookie from last year to work up. Uh, Tyron Matthew, Buda Baker, good pickup this year in the second round. Uh, Tyvon Branch, even Antoine Bethea is kind of old, but their secondary is loaded. Um, you know, the strength of this team is definitely their linebackers and their secondary for sure. All right, next up, we got the Rams. I don't even know where this team is located right now. I think it's L.A. or something like that. Jared Goff is still a franchise quarterback in Madden. I don't care what he did in real life. He's still workable. Todd Gurley, monster. Definitely a workable player in Madden. Had a down year last year, but he's still good in Madden. Tavon Austin is probably the best receiver they have. Other than that, they got a couple of just guys. Robert Woods, very average. Cooper Cup and... Uh, I think McRoberts were the other two guys they just picked up in the draft. Who knows what they're going to be. Uh, Gerald Everett's probably going to be the best tight end. They picked up Andrew Whitworth, who's kind of old, but their offensive line is looking slightly improved from last year. Uh, defensive line, you know, whether you play 3-4 or 4-3, Michael Brockers, uh, Aaron Donald, you got Connor Barwin, you can put his hand to dirt, Mark Barron, Alec Ogletree, 
uh, and Robert Quinn. Like I said, I don't know what you play three four four three, but you can make a, a good defense out of those guys, out of those names I just mentioned. And then you get to the corners: Tremaine Johnson, six foot two, uh, you know, pretty good. And then you get to the, to the safeties, and uh, Maurice Alexander is a monster. Uh, Lamarcus Joyner is okay, uh, but you know, you can make a decent secondary out of him. But the strength of this team is definitely front seven. All right, coming in at number 24, we got the 49ers. Now, this team here I thought was going to be, like, really at the bottom. But I guess because of a strong draft class and a couple of free agents, it, it moves them up a little bit. They're really weak at what people think is important, which is passing. Uh, Brian Hoyer is not a quarterback. There's no quarterback on this roster, really. You might have to try to work up this guy who's a rookie third rounder. Uh, Carlos Hyde, though, is a monster. He's a, a beast uh, running back. So at least you can lean on that. Uh, good fullback. Receiving core is kind of butt. Uh, Pierre Garçon's really old. Uh, Marquis Goodwin, at least you got speed there. You can put him in the slot. But other than that, they don't have a lot to work with. Their tight ends are kind of average, too. Vance McDonald's okay. Uh, their offensive line has some pieces, some young pieces, um, you know, some to work on. But their defense, their front seven is where it's, where it's at. Solomon Thomas is going to be a monster. Eric Armstead, nice young player. DeForest Buckner, yeah, nice young player. Um, you know what I'm saying? They have real good talent there. Then you get to the linebackers, Navarro Bowman, Ruben Foster. You know what I'm saying? These, these linebackers are, are studs. Even uh, Malcolm Smith is pretty good. Uh, Aaron Lynch, you know what I'm saying, a really good player. And then you get to the cornerbacks, you know, Jimmy Ward, kind of okay. Um, you know, the, the cornerback spot's not really holding it down too well. Uh, safeties, though, Eric Reed's a beast. I'm moving him up a little bit higher than uh, than some people might expect. Next up at 23, I got the Bears. This surprises even me because I thought when I when I started making this and, and uh, researching it, I had the Bears as one of the worst teams. But when I looked at their roster, they actually have a lot of talent. Mr. Trubisky's going to be a decent-rated quarterback, uh, somebody that you can work on. I think that he'll be a bust in real life. But uh, maybe not a bust, but I don't think he'll be a number two pick quality guy in real life. But in Madden, I think he's going to be a pretty good first year. Jordan Howard's one of the best running backs in the game. Then you get the receiver, and they have a couple of really decent options with Cameron Meredith. Uh, you know, you still got the speed of Kevin White, the speed and height of Kevin White. Um, I think Marcus Whedon's a really good speedster. Ed Royal's a playmaker. Kendall Wright's a decent playmaker. You can make a receiving core out of that. Jack Miller, you know, average, but I think Michael Pruitt, who's uh, off the Vikings, is a really good uh, guy to play. You know, you can start him as a receiving tight end. He's nasty. Uh, offensive line, the interior line's really good with Josh Sitton, Cody Whitehair, and Kyle Long. You got a really strong interior line. You know, no real good defensive lineman. Eddie Goldman might be the best one, but he's not really that great. You can put Pernell McPhee at defensive end, or you can start Leonard Floyd somewhere. There you have some, some you know, ability. Uh, Jarrell Freeman, Danny Trevathan, good linebackers. Uh, but then you get to the secondary, Amukamara and Fuller. That's a pretty good one-two tandem. And then you also got Marcus Cooper, who's got the size and speed that you want at the back end. And uh, Adrian Amos, you know what I'm saying, 93 speed. I mean, that's that's a, a hell of a, an attribute there. And then Quentin Dempsey is a decent safety. So this team has a lot more good man and talent than they probably do have real NFL talent. Coming in number 22, I got the Bills. This is one of my favorite teams for a long time. Tyrod Taylor is a good mobile quarterback, which is a plus. LaShawn McCoy, really good running back. Some of the better, two of the better options there. Good fullbacks that went on sign two. Uh, Sammy Watkins, really good uh, Madden receiver. Can't stay healthy in real life. Philly Brown, good Madden receiver. Uh, Zay Jones, I think, is going to be a decent player as a, as a, as a late or second round pickup, I think. Colby Liston be a speedster from last year that they picked up. Uh, it's tight ends, you know, Charles Clay and uh, Blake Annan's a guy not a lot of people know about, but he was actually on one of the final teams in, uh, he was starting tight, tight end on one of the final teams in the Madden tournament. Offensive lines loaded, um, you know, with incognito and uh, maybe not loaded, but they definitely have a strong left side. Defense though, Shaq Lawson's a stud, Jerry Hughes is a stud. Uh, Kyle Williams, Marcel Darius, really strong defensive line. Then you get the linebacking core. Preston Brown's a good player. Reggie Ragland's a, a valuable player. And, um, you know, you can make a linebacking core pretty easy. Secondary, Ronald Darby uh, is decent. Jordavius White, first-round pick, is probably going to be a decent pickup. Uh, Mika Hyde's a decent player as a strong safety. I'm not sure he's a strong or a free, but right now they have him listed as a strong. So uh, pretty good talent all around. And then the last team for this video, I got the Vikings coming in number 21. This is one of the most popular teams going into Met last year that everybody wanted, but they lost a lot of pieces, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I think the best quarterback they got is Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, uh, running backs are loaded, though. You got Latavius Murray, Jarek McKinnon, Dalvin Cook. Trade one of those guys. Hell, even Bishop Sankey can play. Uh, trade one of those guys to get something of value somewhere else. The receiving core is okay with Diggs and Thielen and uh, Treadwell. You know what I'm saying? A couple guys you got to work up. Uh, the offensive line, though, just got, you know, it's it's not good to begin with. Alex Boone, though, good pickup. Joe Berger, 
Uh, they picked up um, a center. You might have to move him over to guard just to have a half-decent line because their offensive line kind of stinks. The defense is still pretty good, though. Daniel Hunter, Brian Robinson, um, Everson Griffin, uh, Limwell Joseph, Shreve Floyd. I thought one of these guys got hurt like with a career-threatening injury in real life, so we'll see what happens there. Anthony Barr is still a monster. Uh, Eric Kendricks, you know, definitely speedy, good middle linebacker to user. Um, you know, the secondary is still really good with Xavier Rhodes, Trey Waynes. Uh, Alexander's a good slot. Harrison Smith, uh, still one of my favorite safeties. All right, so that's it for part one. If you guys want to see part two, like I said, hit the like button, 50 likes, and I'll put out part two tomorrow. Other than that, if you disagree with anything I, I said or my ranking, leave it in the comment section and, uh, you know, be prepared for me to respond because I put a lot of thought into this. It may not seem like it, but um, I really do think these things out pretty well before I make them. So uh, if there's any teams you think that should have been on the bottom that weren't there, let me know. Or if you think any teams should have been higher, let me know. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Moist it out. Hey, you made it to the end of the video, which means either you like the content you're watching or you fell asleep halfway through. Either way, if you hit the subscribe button, you can catch all my videos now releasing daily. Thanks for watching.